Hey you guys, welcome back. If this is your first time joining, my name is Georgie Ann Getten and I am the CEO and founder of GSD Solutions. We are a business development agency that specializes in digital adoption and one of our key services is virtual event production. So what I wanna talk about in this video is this term hybrid, right? Everyone is talking about hybrid, um, you know, as well as going back in person for events. Let's start with hybrid. So the thing about hybrid events is that no one really knows what they mean. And what I mean by that is my definition of a hybrid event versus your definition of a hybrid event could be two completely different things. And I'll give you some examples. So prior to the pandemic, where majority of events were primarily in person, um, people would have cameras that would live stream parts of the event to an online audience. Would that be considered hybrid? To many, it would. Then during the pandemic, there would be things like people would meet in studios and the speakers would meet in studios and maybe have like a virtual audience come in and watch or be on camera. Think of shows like the Wendy Williams show or the Drew show where people were coming in or the Tamron Hall show where people came in on the TVs and then a smaller audience was in person and then it was still live streaming to the people watching at home, right? Would that be considered hybrid? Again, many would say yes. Another model is half of the audience is online, half of the audience is in person. The online folks are going through um, different tracks and breakout sessions, as well as the in-person folks are going through different workshops. But then when there's a keynote or a top level talk that's happening on the stage at the in-person events, Cameras are recording that and putting it on the virtual stage for the online attendees. Would that count as virtual? Or better yet, would that count as hybrid? Many would say yes. And another model that I've seen recently was that the audience was half in person and online again, and the speakers were coming in virtually. And so whatever speakers were virtual, there was a big screen in front of the audience that folks could watch the screen to see the virtual speakers, as well as people had laptops on their tables that they could watch and engage with the virtual folks. And the virtual folks, they had you know their virtual setups and they were able to engage with the in-person folks. Would that count as hybrid? Many would say yes. So I say all that to say that there are many different models, versions, and types of what hybrid is defined by. And us as a collective need to be really clear when we're requesting hybrid or talking to producers or clients about a hybrid event in order so that way we meet on the same page. Because when you say hybrid to me, I might be thinking, okay, we're going to just be recording in studios. Um, only the speakers will be showing up and everybody else will be online. And your expectation is 50% or actually 20% capacity in person, 80% capacity online and speakers interchanging through platforms. Some speakers coming live, some speakers being fully virtual. So that means we have to have a tech team on site, a uh, AV team on site, as well as techno tech checks and AV support for the virtual speakers. So, it can get really, really, really expensive really quickly when you're thinking about various different types of hybrid models. When you're going straight in person or straight online, then you know what costs are associated with this. So that's my slight warning when it comes to hybrid. Be clear on the definition of what hybrid means, right? For both parties, everybody involved, as well as be clear on the cost that you're gonna incur by producing a hybrid event. Got it? Good. Now, I wanna transition into talking about this all or nothing kind of vibe that a lot of companies um, that are producing virtual events or events in general and a lot of companies that are clients are, are trying to pick a side, right? And when I say trying to pick a side, what I'm referring to is folks saying, I'm gonna go virtual all the way or I'm gonna go live all the way, or I'm gonna do this hybrid magical model, when in reality, you have to do all of them. And I know that might sound stressful initially, but hear me out, hear me out, right? So as a person that has over 12 years of experience in both um, in a mixture of in-person, hybrid, and virtual events, and hybrid with the various definitions, 
I can tell you for sure that virtual events aren't going anywhere. In-person events aren't going anywhere and hybrid events aren't going anywhere. So as a business, you need to make sure that these three models are embedded into your business strategy. When TikTok came along, did you delete your Instagram and your Facebook? No, you integrated into that system. When Facebook came along, were you no longer on MySpace running ads or putting up billboards? Certain things phase out eventually, but what we've seen is that in the digital world, things are here to stay. And as businesses like the meta, uh, metaverse are coming out and building these digital ecosystems, NFTs, cryptocurrencies, and the blockchain continues to expand, tech is going nowhere. So my bit of advice to you all out there is to ensure that a virtual event production strategy and partners are ingrained into your business from now. Because as we go back into back in person and you know the vaccines continue to work and people continue to protect themselves, the world will open back up. But there is no going back to what we knew before. Some folks won't return to in-person events just because they realize, wow, I don't have to travel, it's more accessible, I could do it from my home, the comfort of my space, I don't have to worry about my dietary restrictions or my um, accessibility features. There's just so much more reasons for those individuals to stay, eh, if it's in person, I'm not going. And vice versa. When things open back up more, folks are going to be like, I'm never touching my computer again. I need to go outside. I need to interact with people in person. And then there will be folks that want the option. So this is where hybrid comes in, Morsi. They want the option to maybe attend a conference the first day in person and the second and third day online, right? People have work. People have families. People have things to do. So how are you making your event structure more accessible, more engaging, and more real time to the people in your audience? That's the question you need to be asking yourself and your team. So to end off this video, I just wanna to say to everyone, really think through what do you mean by hybrid and clearly communicate that to everyone that's involved in the production of your event. And then really think about how you're going to make sure that virtual events, in-person events, and hybrid events are a part of your business strategy. They're gonna be necessary for growth, right? You didn't delete Facebook and Instagram when TikTok came along. You figured out how each outlet is to be best used for you and your business, and you continue to use the platforms. So that's what we have to do here, right? We are people, we are humans, and one of our best qualities is being able to adapt to the world around us, being able to adapt to our surroundings. So let's continue to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are looking for virtual event production support or just not even sure where to get started in this virtual event strategy, head on over to my company website, gsdsolutionsinc.com. It'll be down below in the description of this video and reach out. We offer a free 20 minute consultation so that way we can figure out how to best help you and your organization to continue to be successful as the world continues to change. Thank you guys. Georgie out.